Oh, there he is right there. It's supposed to be me. Okay, don't make any noise. Hey there. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to uh, work. Um, ah, I was expecting to see Annabel so quickly. In this video, Annabel Sanchez from xlead.com is going to introduce us to Tailwind CSS and how we can use it in Joomla. Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Watch Me Work live stream number, six, uh, number 70 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, uh, if you're new to this channel, haven't seen it before, head on over to basicjoomla.com. Click on giveaways, sign up for the newsletter. You will be entered into some uh, great uh, Joomla prize giveaways each month, automatically each month. You don't have to keep entering. Uh, today is uh, April the 8th, 2020. For those of you who want to understand the context of the introductory discussion we're going to have with Annabelle. And as you can see, I'm sporting my pandemic haircut that my wife gave me, I don't know, almost a week ago. So... I think we're all in the same boat or many of us are in that boat so uh let's just get right to changing some screens here i have to figure out uh annabelle say something man you'll pop hi up on the how are you tim i'm doing well now i have to figure out how we can get us both on the screen i guess once we get going i'll be quiet uh annabelle how are you doing like i said it's april 8th 2020 you are in spain uh, what is your situation right now? How, how are you and your family doing? Uh, great. Uh, here we are, you know, coping with the virus around. We are, we have been at home, you know, for 24 days. So we are great. <laughs> You're great. You're at home for 24 days. Are you getting lots of work done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we can go out there. So yeah, we need to stay at home and yeah. Okay. Hey, tell us a little bit about Exley.com before we get going to what you're going to show us. Well, uh, at Exley, we are working developing extensions and doing some consulting work for customers, clients. Um, and in the, in the middle, we are also trying to innovate and implement new technology. And that's why we are trying to introduce Tailwind and, and this Laravel view stuff uh, in Joomla. Good. Now, uh, I'll give you one a commercial for one of your extensions. Uh, Exley has a, an extension where when you put the embed code for a YouTube video, for instance, in your Joomla page, instead of it downloading all of the code and the, and the video ready to play from YouTube, it actually just takes the thumbnail and puts it there. And then when someone clicks on it, then the video loads for them to click. I had a client who had a really high bounce rate on a bunch of his pages uh, because the page was loading slower. And so we tried out that plugin from Exley and uh, immediately his bounce rate went down, which meant more people were staying and watching more things on his site. His page load speed uh, increased big time, uh, sorry, decreased big time. And uh, then he started selling more courses on his site. So that's a really cool uh, extension and something that you guys will want to check out. So yeah, yeah. But you know that nowadays the the point of our work sometimes is to you know to try to improve the little things that really affect the, the performance, the and the speed of the load of a page. So I think that that's where we need to focus on. That's yes. where, where uh, Tailwind really shines. And I am actually a little bit behind on a couple of uh, help desk things with Annabel that is uh, asking him about that extension. But all right, Annabel, take it away. Uh, tell us about Tailwind CSS and uh, the screen is all yours. Okay. Okay, so here we go. And this is the first time you hear about Tailwind team or? I remember when Chait and I interviewed you on the Joomcast podcast, you talked about Tailwind. So I, I remember vaguely about it, but this is going to, you know, uh, this is going to be, as far as the CSS and that goes, it's going to be pretty much from scratch for me. Okay. Okay. Great. Uh, well, uh, Tailwind CSS is a framework uh, to create uh, designs. Uh, a framework in a sense that uh, it helps you to create style sheets. Uh, for example, this is uh, this animation shows how you can start writing and typing the classes 
in the HTML to create, for, for example, a personal card. Uh, the point is that uh, you can, for example, uh, write here uh, a, a class in a very, you know, uh, a very expressive way. For example, you define a, a white background that you want a card that is wrong um, to change the, the height and the weight of the card, um, for example, the, the size of the text. And you express the design in this way with this, uh, you know, syntaxis that is very expressive. Um, so that's tool, that's uh, a that's a simple built-in syntax. So you just have to remember, oh, text, purple, and then uh, size, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. An idea is that you uh, this is the kind of syntax that you find in in a utility first uh, framework because you express the designs with this uh, low level classes uh, and, and these classes are very expressive for example uh, if you want to define a, a grid here you have for example okay. uh, some classes to express a grid uh, and the idea is that it's going to be it, it is very fast you can write and create new designs very fast okay. the idea is that you start from a very low level and create uh, uh, high level designs, but very quickly. And the idea is that you are going to create a design that matches your requirements, but always in this sense of, uh, you know, uh, writing the minimal design that you want to find. Uh, and we, are, we can compare this with, uh, with, let me see, with Bootstrap, where, for example, this is the, the completely uh, whole different uh, war where you have a lot of components already designed with uh, high level components and you always uh, work with Bootstrap and all of these tools. Even if you not, are not going to use them, uh, Bootstrap comes with all of these uh, components. And this is the, uh, one of the main differences between uh, uh, Tailwind and, uh, and Booster. Okay. In Tailwind, you always uh, express uh, everything from the low level uh, to create something new and uh, only uh, deliver the minimum style sheet. And this is uh, one point that we need to really understand that Tailwind is more a process, uh, a tool that implement this design uh, in a, in a uh, Com in comparison with uh, Bootstrap, where you get everything and you are not really try uh, never trying to, you know, reduce the size. We are, you, Bootstrap and all teams uh, associated with Bootstrap always come with everything. And the point is that Bootstrap right now uh, is more a, a prototype framework where you can, you know, based on what everything that comes, you, you can uh, prototype anything, but you are not really customizing a, a design to be optimal for a client. You are you are you are always uh, receiving the whole package. So you you start out within the constraints of what Bootstrap has set up, and you're saying that Tailwind lets you build from the ground up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for example, I'm going to show you how you can quickly start something like this, for example, with the car. And this is a good example how you can write uh, classes and everything to uh, define a, a car, for example, in this case. And I'm going to grab this code. I'm going to show you how flexible it, this is. Now you're zipping along uh typing in there quickly or this are you actually typing this right now no no it's an animation yeah okay well, i was just gonna say man you not only are you a fast typer but you have the most quiet keyboard i've ever, ever heard no but i'm going to you know to start with this example and i'm going to this code and it's not working Oh, 
is not now, good. Cassiopeia, that is the new, t that's the default template for Joomla yeah. 4. Now, here we are. Uh, this is a, a Delwin sandbox that you can uh, use to just test code. Okay. For example, here I am uh, copy, copy pasting the, I am trying to, no, no. <laughs> I hear Andrea laughing at you in the background. Yeah, yeah, Andrea is trying to improve my, my, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, now we continue. So you, I'm from that to... sandbox, you, uh, from that code, you've pasted it in this sandbox there in the left, yeah, and you yeah. can preview on the right. I'm going to right. improvise here and try to, uh, let's see, here. I'm going to improvise this car, and here you can see, for example, in the cars that I can change, for example, the color, the text. Okay. Oh, and it's bringing up all your options automatically, right? Yeah. Uh, for example, here I can change the classes of the car change the design and this is mainly how you work uh, with Tailwind you always try to you know match uh, the design with what you want to do and, uh, and once you you learn the, the classes it's kind of easy to move uh, everything from one side to the other how long do you how long do you think it would take for someone to uh, uh, begin to uh, learn the the classes or these new codes? What's what's now? You, I mean, you do this all the time for a living. Think it'd just be like a a couple of slow days, and it would just start to fill into your brain. Sorry, I, I can barely hear you. Oh, you can barely hear me. I'll move the microphone over. Maybe that'll help. Um, how, how long do you think it would take someone to learn all of these codes before they started to feel that that was uh, becoming fluent in it? Yeah, the idea is that it is very simple because the syntax is, uh, you know, you, you start tr trying to type, for example, uh, the, 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 the author of, of the framework uh, has created these classes, but you know, they are very, I, I always say that it's very expressive. You can start typing. Uh, for example, here we have the, let me show you. The mouse is not working. I don't know why. I think that is. that zoom is blocking the mouse in the tool. Okay. Why? Uh, okay. So I am saying that uh, the syntax is very expressive and you can write the here the for example uh, to create several kinds of reads of this kind of sample. So you can always grab the code and move to your own. Uh, so you're doing that tailwind dots. Yeah. Tailwind CSS. Yeah. For example, here I am trying to you know improvise uh, a flex usage and change it how it is displayed. Okay. On different uh, screens. Um. And the next thing that I want to show you is, uh, yeah, the problem is, um, another point to show you is, for example, that after you, you start creating with the classes and, and the design, you move in the next step to uh, the components. So you can also, for example, you have here, in Tailwind, Tailwind UE, uh, a whole collection of uh, different uh, components that you can use. 
uh, for example, this is a list with photos. I'm okay. going to grab the code and show you here. And they will run how it is shown. And I'm basically, this is the the the, 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 the easiest way to, you know, the, to start testing the, the idea of Tailwind. When you go to the to the documentation site, grab some code or another from another sources, mm -hmm. and you can paste it here and start, you know, playing with the classes and, and mock up a new design. Uh, this is the very first way to to start okay. uh, testing. And you don't necessarily have to now, start with such a big, huge thing. You can start with some smaller things and start playing around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and after that, you, you can move. Uh, for example, once you, you buy the idea of working with Tailwind, you can start, for example, I, I have created this uh, a starter. Let me try to show you how it really works from your local uh, computer. Uh, I have created this starter where you can try locally the the code i'm going to show how easy it is to run it here now you're getting some files from your yeah i am downloading the from your git Now um, yeah. oh, this uh, Tailwind it is based on uh, Node GS, uh, but you you only have to uh, install Node. Uh, I don't know if you have ever installed Node on your computer, maybe. Uh, which program? Node. No, I haven't. No. Okay. Because Tailwind is based on Node, uh, so this, uh, you know, the command line mainly okay. tool that you can you have to use to uh, generate the code. Uh, for example, uh, I'm going to continue with the works uh, example based on the car, the personal car, mm -hmm. but I'm going to build the same car that we used here. Uh, locally so we can generate the, the style sheet for Joomla for example and show you uh, I already downloaded I'm going to initialize uh, the local setup and I'm going to run a uh, tailwind locally to generate uh, the styles okay this is this starter project is based on my blog, so I'm going to start it, and I'm going to ask this here the design. Do you, uh, here's a question, chat. Can you use Notepad plus plus for this? Can you use what? Notepad plus plus. It's a it's a text editor. But uh, but I think I think because it's yeah, a... yeah. The, you know you you mean the the, the editor ah okay uh, yes I, I I am I always use uh, you know uh, Visual Studio Code okay yeah but yeah yeah you, you can edit these files with another editor yeah. No, so, but you're not gonna. Uh, you're I not gonna. I downloaded the repository, initialized uh, Tailwind locally, and I have my blog design here uh, on my local computer. I'm going to clean all of this, and I'm going to show you how you can grab the code from uh, Tailwind and render the, the personal card here. And for example, I'm going to clean my design. Detail design. This is the the basic files that they are used to create the design. Um, going to 
this is going to print page and now we have a clean page and it is being generated from my uh, computer okay i'm going to i have the, the sample card here and i'm going to paste the card that we grab from the page in the body of this file and here we have again the the car i'm going to find again the image so now we have this snippet of code here uh, running from my local machine uh, through tailwind and creating the design okay uh, for example here i can change Make the same okay so you're just going back and typing uh, typing in the uh, syntax for what you want to do yeah and this I'm, I'm doing you know very basic uh, changes yeah but for example you can also grab complex code from different sources and example if you add it here in the page it's also going to render the okay. the, the component here so you can change for example All right, we have put a div in there in a block so that you're not beside it. I'm going to start the margin. And here, this is the mainly the way that you are you will create. So this is very much a tool for someone who is uh, doing a lot of design from the ground up and uh, is not afraid to get back into the code and just start typing and exact, do exactly what they want. Yeah, but once you start creating this uh, design in this way, you know, it is very fast uh, because uh, you don't have to remember the whole details about uh, style sheets or CSS. The, the point is that I I don't want to remember CSS. I want to, you know, for example, now I understand better the, the syntaxis of Tailwind and mm -hmm. with that I understand I understand better the patterns that the, they can easily be combined to create new components. For example, here I am, you know, customizing uh, this car without really understanding how uh, CSS works internally. I am mainly, you know, expressing the design with these uh, classes. Okay. And I'm going to uh, create, move this design to Joomla. I'm going to clean all of these. So you're taking everything except the body and the... Uh... Yeah. Um, one of the best parts of Tailwind that after you create the design, you can produce the final version for the site. And the final version is going to uh, contain only the styles that you define. It is not going to uh, include the whole uh, framework. Okay. Yeah, uh, now this I, this I remember you telling me about Tailwind that you uh, create it off of your site and get everything together and then and then use it. Yeah. For example, here I'm going to uh, 
produce the, this design, these styles. And when you run the command to produce the design, for example, here you can notice that these the classes, these are only the classes required uh, to express the design that you want to uh, import, for example, in Joomla. Okay, so you basically, um, so you basically that has converted Tailwind's converted it to CSS. Yes, because Tailwind, in fact, it, it is this uh, tool to uh, compile and uh, create the, the styles. Okay. Uh, for example, before moving these uh, styles to Joomla, I'm going to try to improve the, you know, the, the styles, uh, the definition of the classes. Mm -hmm. for, for, for example, I don't want to repeat all of these or try to, you know, so because they win sometimes, you know, the people don't like to have this kind of classes on their, this, in their in plates. So another way to, to improve this is you know, trying to express, let me show you, like component. Mm -hmm. For example, this is a car. So I'm going to express the car in this way. My car. My car. I thought maybe that was the Spanish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's Spanish. I'm going to move, remove all of these and express that this is in my car. And it is still shown in the same way. I can express all of this car, all of these classes in a better way. Okay. So is an advantage of this then that instead of having a system like uh, um, Bootstrap that has all of the CSS always available and loaded and waiting, now you're only loading the exact code that you want and it makes it much lighter and faster? Yeah, the advantage is, the, is that you can really, you know, be optimal. You're only going to create uh, the, the right design for uh, your site. You're going to deliver only uh, the, 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 the style sheet that you need, you require, and nothing more. And that's the main advantage, advantage of all of this, that you're really creating. Because sometimes when you start with a bootstrap, you, you 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 have to you know reinvent, reinvent the design in bootstrap terms. Mm -hmm. uh, in this way, uh, uh, I'm going to go back because I really destroyed this. What I was doing. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stop here. Okay. Uh, so then you have to, you know, like you have to fight against a bootstrap, create a, a, new, a new template, a new design, and you have to express the a new design mm -hmm. in terms of in bootstrap terms. So it is a really a waste of time. Sometimes it's very better if you start from scratch, like we are doing here, you know, from a long level to a high level of components and express a better design and optimal in terms of uh, speed. So uh, I'm going to do uh, this design to do. I have the Joomla here. Setup. I'm going to show you how this very same car can be. This is the Joomla 4 installation. And I'm going to show you how we can go 
going to in a very uh, like this is not right. I'm going to write the the style right on the article just to show you how easy it is to put the style and the car in a Joomla site without creating a whole template. But this this is not a good practice. But I'm going to this is mainly just to demonstrate how easily we can move a telling code to to Joomla. It is better, of course, if you create a, a template. But right. Just for our so you're putting you're putting the style right in the article, and then you're going to, okay. Yeah, but here you can see that the same design that we have in our uh, in our site in our local site. Mm -hmm. But here is the the car. Right. We can easily move the design with the change that we do. for example we we have this shadow and uh, you can show the same car on joomla okay uh, and the other day when we were uh, talking about all of this in our local user group uh, carlos suggested that we can also uh, move the style instead of adding the style here in the article we can create a, a user style, move style to the right position, to the right style sheet. For example, here in the user style, we can move the code that we inserted here. It's not right. So we're going to improve it and change it to the user style sheet. And the user.css is where you put the custom CSS in the default uh, Joomla template. I don't know if I, I have expressed it, uh, you know, the, what is right, what, what is the rate of, uh, of tailwind. Mm -hmm. Now, um, Ivor asked in chat, can you import existing pages and clean it up in tailwind? Um, Sorry, can, can you repeat the, the question? Yeah, can you import existing pages and clean it up in Tailwind? Yes, you know that in fact, what I did in my starter, because I, I created the starter for my blog. Okay. And when I uh, created this starter, you know, uh, I, let me show you, I, let me show you the starter on here. I created the starter with a, a real a Joomla page. Okay. For example, acá, here the, the sample page that I am using, I have copy pasted a real a Joomla All site. of the source code for a page. For example, here you can notice that this is a language block. This is a classic uh, HTML that uh, Joomla generates when it generates a language uh, switcher. For example, this is the classic language switcher generated by Joomla. So the code 
is exactly what uh, Joomla generates with module table, mod languages, uh, inline. And you don't have to change how Joomla generates the HTML. Uh, you can redefine these classes uh, with Tywin. Uh, okay. This is uh, one of the greatest uh, advantages that you can, you can uh, take uh, a existing Joomla site and re-express the, these classes in table terms. For example, I did this here when I started creating this new component. I redefined uh, how the card was being shown. In Tailwind, you can also, for example, uh, this language block that we have in Joomla, uh, here in components, we, are re we can redefine in this way the, the language elements in, in Tailwind terms. The same classes that are used uh, in, in Joomla uh, to generate uh, the, HTML, the HTML, here you can express the, the, the same classes with Tailwind terms. Okay, so you would just you would just type in the tailwind terms. Yeah. Um, so can you could you could uh, you could take existing code, paste it in the tailwind sandbox area, and then just slowly type over with the with the new terms. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the idea is that you can start slow. You can combine uh, your. Uh, the, you, your current template and uh, add snippets of code. Uh, once you start slowly, after that, we, you can really uh, move uh, the, the whole template to Tailwind and try to create that. For example, I started with my personal blog. Um, and right now, we are trying to move uh, pages or our main site to, uh, to Tailwind, for example. Uh, you know this site but here for example uh, uh, we have this product that is already uh, running um, on, on the Tailwind template and uh, we are moving one page at a time uh, and for example what you were saying about YouTube optimizing this is the old template based on Bootstrap okay. um, we are you know moving one page at a time and combine both technologies and trying to okay. get everything to the new template. Now, when you say new template, so do you, are, do you, are you assigning the template the same way that you do in the back end of Joomla or? No, no, or... The, the, the rest of the site remains on the legacy technology that we have in Joomla okay. based on Bootstrap. So one page at a time, you're converting the actual, just the CSS right on it. Uh, 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 sorry, you're converting the, you're you're doing what you've been showing, making this page here. Uh, uh, never mind. I don't know how to ask the question, but I think I. <laughs> uh, Ivor asked, "Where do you put it to not override when upgrading Joomla?" No, I can hear you much better now. Okay, right. <laughs> please, please, please repeat the question. Now I can really hear you. Okay, Ivor's uh, Ivor's wondering where do you put it to not override when upgrading Joomla. Um, no, here I don't know. We, here we created a new template, and in the new template we are redefining the classes that we want to to redefine. But we are not really overriding the the original components or. Okay, or, so it's the content that you're doing right now. Like yeah, yeah. It's okay. The same content, the same content, but with the, with different visual expression. Okay. So when you say a new template, uh, do you, are you do you have a different template installed in Joomla, or you're just doing this page by page? No, no. You... We have a different template. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. And we have the the old template based on Bootstrap with Dantry, and the new template based on Tailwind. Okay. Yeah. So you so you you're actually assigning menu items to that new template then? Yeah. yeah okay. That, All right. That's it. That's it. All right. Yeah, uh, I was I was just a bit confused there because when I see you pasting and putting stuff right in the article itself, 
but what you're doing is you're you're building a whole different template that's that's based yeah, yeah. in um, that yeah. case yes I, I i'm trying to you know in this talk i'm trying to focus on what uh, you can start easily without a uh, creating a new template we, you, you can really you know yeah. uh, start testing tailwind with these tools that it is a, a you know you can read the documentation and, and test this in the sandbox in the sandbox without uh, installing anything and uh, if you like the, the how you express the design and, and how easily you can create new new stuff after that you, you can start creating the design in your local uh, setup um so there'll be a follow-up video on how to make a tailwind template wow you know this is this is a very advanced stuff because <laughs> in our talk we, we have you know created a, a personal car and we are not really yeah. uh, we are creating a small snippet of style sheet code yeah. and paste no. it in, in you know in an existing template so it, this is a very introductory stuff. Yeah. Okay. To create a new a whole template. I think we need a, a series of videos because there are a little steps that we need to take care of uh, to create a really like template. And I'm going to try to to do a, a template, for example, for Gel, but you know, it's something that it takes time. Yeah. No, I can. Uh, I can definitely. Uh... I can definitely see that, but this is a this is a great way to begin to uh, customize where you're putting right in the page and what you've shown, so that uh, you can have a a nice light um, thing that is looking the way that you want it to look. Yeah, yeah. Um, for me, what what is the best things that I like is that I don't really have to know the details of stylesheet. Uh, you know, I, I, I like to express a car in this way because it is easy. I can read it. And it is something that I can really understand. I don't want, I don't want to know the details of style sheets. So, so this is the, the details of the style sheet that I want to avoid uh, writing uh, for every element. For example, I don't want to understand all the, all of this, uh, Tiny details that I I want I have to remember with uh, style sheets. I want to write the you know the, the components in this way because it is easier, more compact. And, mm -hmm. uh, well, and we all, we all know that maddening experience of wanting to change just one little thing, and for the life of us, not even even with Element Inspector being able to find out what it is. So to be yeah, able to yeah. to be able to have something simpler to just go oh I. I just want this. Plus, the other thing is, once you've made a card like this, you ha start to have your own library of things that you can yeah. just grab and put. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Um, and, and, and you know, in that way is that uh, it, this technology really shines that you can express uh, the styles of your templates or your uh, of your design that you want to create and, and work and create your own design and not be forced by, by for example, by Bootstrap. Mm -hmm. You know, once you uh, check one of one Bootstrap design, you realize that they are all very similar. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. um, and this is, is this automatically responsive? Uh, no, it's not automatically because uh, in Tailwind, you always, you always mm -hmm. have to express uh, everything because you know the, the, the key here is that it's a utility first CSS nothing is going to be done by default because okay. you have to create that but it is easy to create a, you have responsive classes all of this uh, all of these uh, classes can, uh, they have a variation uh, based on the, the uh, design. For example, in our car, here you have this uh, prefix, MD. MD is uh, medium devices to high. So, you, for example, you can say that this is a, by default, uh, this is a mobile first. So, by default, this is going to be a block. But if you uh, add the prefix, this prefix uh, is going to uh, say that uh, for 
for mobile devices it's going to be block but for bigger screens it's going to be flex the style okay. and this this uh, you can notice that all of these MDs are expressing for example a margin uh, okay. and, and the alineation of text so you have to express how this personal card is going to be shown on uh, mobile devices or in, in, uh, on desktops. Okay. In our, let me show you. In our sandbox, I lost the sandbox. Today, Zoom is driving me crazy. <laughs> yeah. At least you have Andrea in the background helping you, watching you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here uh, you can express the different, you can test the different classes and each for each device. Um, so, for example, if you write the, the, our car here, so we can test how it is rendered in different devices and mm -hmm. and try different prefixes for example ag is going to be a border a, a, let's see no. i'm trying to create yeah. So, ah, yeah. so that, the M it. so that's the MD it, yeah. and the LG and everything corresponds to the XS and yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. so you you can associate the default value. The default value is going to be block, mm -hmm. and you can define for for each uh, okay. device how you want to show this. For example, yeah, I'm writing anything. Okay. Yeah, that's the idea. Okay. And so, then you and then you take this and convert it and put it in. Yeah, yeah. But you know, once you start typing the classes and trying to create something on the fly, uh, you you start to really feel how uh, you create a new design just in minutes. Nice. Uh, yeah, it, it can take time because you have to define every element. But once you start and you create your own library of components, it is easy. Yeah. So they. So we should start out. Uh, anyone using this should start out with just some little example like you have. Begin to do it, and yeah. then of course, then the mind will catch up, and you'll wake up in the middle of the night re realizing, oh, now I know how to do something. Yeah, yeah. And in that way, you start slowly from little samples. And after that, you move to create the whole library that you want, you're going to use. In our, you're, you're creating your own language to create your components and the design, the design that you want for your site. So, so who are Tailwind? Is this a person? Is it a company? What, like, where, did, where did this all come from? Uh, a year ago, I think that uh, uh, the author the, is uh, Adam Waitan that uh, you can find in his videos on YouTube that uh, he shows how to create components and pages and he's, the whole, he's, he's very popular because he's always uploading uh, and doing live uh, sessions uh, about how to create design with Tailwind. He started uh, small with only the framework um right now it is only in the version 1.2 but yeah, he's also he's now creating the, the tailwind component this is paid uh, this is a, a subscription only component uh, but he's been successful uh, selling this kind of uh, elements you can create your own elements but the idea is that okay, once you understand how to use it, okay, I want to be fast and just grab a code from a place and adapt it to my style. Uh, of course, you can also uh, grab code from other sources because many people are creating this kind of component based of 
on Tailwind. But the idea is that you are going to you want to be fast when you realize the power of uh, Tailwind. That's why mm -hmm. I created uh, the Tailwind components inside. So similar to Bootstrap, you could go and grab something that's already been coded by someone, but the language is easier and you're going to be a lot faster customizing it and you won't be limited. Yeah, yeah. It, and the idea is that you create your own uh, design, your own language uh, with all of these uh, classes. And yeah. I, I, I never thought that I, I was uh, to create something uh, a new design this way, but at the end of the day, you you realize that you are creating a new design, and not really like a designer because I'm not a designer, but you it's, can really express something and create it's, something that is it is valid. It's sort of halfway backwards towards when when uh, the really gifted geeks would just sit at Notepad and would type everything out and knew what it looked like and it would just work. Uh, yeah, so yeah. here, it's here you're in the code. It's giving you that control, but you, you know, it's, it's certainly a lot easier than that. Yeah, uh, yeah, and that, that's the whole idea of Tailwind. Um, I did, and you know that Joomla, the next, the next, the next version, Joomla four, is going to be agnostic. It's not going to be. Uh, it, it is going to be released with Bootstrap. But the idea is that you can easily drop Bootstrap and introduce something new. Uh, and I think that Tailwind is going to be, you know, the technology that is going to empower many of the new Joomla 4 sites. Okay. Yeah. Good. Well, uh, I'm not really into agnosticism, but that sounds like a good application for it. So. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Yeah, no, that's good. Uh, and certainly that will be good because the, the more that people are able to use the tools that they're familiar with or that they like, then um, the um, then the, 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 the more the, the better it is going to be for people. Plus, I know that you really like to uh, you're you're a big proponent of uh, having Joomla open for new technologies and new things that are coming along. And that's something that we sometimes identify as a challenge for us in Joomla is that um, uh, we're, we have the system that we have, but things change and people want to be doing new things, especially the developers and programmers. And if they have a platform that can uh, adapt or use, be, those new things can be used on, then they're going to develop extensions and just keep doing this stuff. Because clearly yeah. this is something that you're having a lot of enjoyment doing. And that's yeah. that's what we want all of our uh, de developers to be doing. Yeah. And sometimes you know that uh, you don't discover new things until you start doing uh, the first step. You, you need to do the first step to realize how good it is doing the second step. And after that, you have to do the to take the second, the third, the third step. And you know while you walk in the the path in where you really discover the the goodies of these uh, technologies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, now, because of my little mistake at the beginning there with the screen capture, that once I edit that, uh, live chat is not going to be available on this replay. But if you will, if you'll email me the links that you've shared in here and demonstrated, I'll put those in the notes for yeah, this yeah. video. I, I'm going to I'm going to upload the the repository with this uh, test that we did, so okay. you can include that in, in the video notes. Okay, that be yeah, and I'll put that in there, and that that way, because then people can go and begin to play around uh, themselves and and take a look at things. And if you lay that all out, I will put that in the video description. For the life of me, I cannot get my video to show up here on the screen side, but it was side by side. But oh, unpinned video. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm happy for Zoom because they must be making a killing with all the people that bought pro accounts. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the only the only problem is is that now I have to learn all these new controls that just surprised me today. Yeah, yeah. It, it is an experience we're trying to you know manage. Uh, so and, and here in my machine that you know I, I can't access the the top bar. Some uh, Zoom is blocking the the Chrome. So okay. Oh, okay. That top bar you can actually drag to the side. Yeah, but I don't know why it is. Yeah. Anyways, well, 
Yeah. I and if we're struggling with it, just imagine all those poor parents at home that uh, didn't want to have anything to do with any of this stuff are struggling. Yeah, with it yeah, now. yeah. Uh, oh, Ivor asked if I've tried the background image in Zoom. Uh, I have tried that. We can play around with. Uh, uh, I don't. Um, uh, actually, before so before we get really goofy, I'm gonna. Uh, is there anything else you want to show us, Annabelle? No, no, that, that's all. That's all I have. <laughs> okay, uh, so I I'm just going to just uh, you know stick around, and I'm not going to end the stream, but I'm going to thank everybody who's watched for this part for tuning in. Uh, Annabelle, how can they contact you? They go to extly.com. Yeah, yeah. Or I am, I am, I am, I am on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. What's your Twitter handle? Uh, Hannibal uh, underscore Sanchez. Okay. A N I B A L A underscore. Uh, yeah. Sanchez. Okay. Sanchez. On Twitter. All right. So they can find you. And uh, for if anyone here speaks Spanish, they should watch the uh, they should listen to the podcast that your wife Andrea does with Carlos. Yeah, Mastermind. Mastermind. Yeah, Mastermind yeah. podcast. Uh, yeah. All right, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching to this point. I'm gonna we're, we're gonna keep visiting and see if anyone else has some just general questions. If do you have time sure. to stick around for a bit? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay, good. Uh, and so thanks for your support of this channel. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, watch for the replay in the show notes. Uh, sorry, in the video description, you'll find the links to what Annabelle has shown us. Uh, for those of you that are leaving now, uh, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless. Thank you. All right, now time for some fun. We're still live here. So uh, Ivor asked if I played around with the background and I'll show you what happens. You can choose a virtual background and you can see yeah. this right here. I do not have a computer that can use the green screen. Uh, my computer's too old. So, but you're supposed to be able to put yourself in space <laughs> and it will guess. Here's the thing though. Uh, instead, of, instead of picking the wall, it picks anything that's dark, which includes me. So I end up, uh, <laughs> so yeah, if I end yeah. up, uh, now I can almost point to where you are right now, probably right. If I move over here, where are you? Oh, this wow. finger. <laughs> I could put I can put Spain as my belly button. Um, that's this. There's sentences that have never been said in the English language. So no. uh, yes, Ivor, I cannot use the background tool because, as you can see, it's uh, it does not yeah. work for me. Have you tried it? No, no, never. <laughs> You want to try I it? I don't. I don't dare to to create to use that. Okay, mouse mouse over to the bottom left hand corner of your screen where it says where the video icon is. And, and then and then there's the little arrow. Yeah. And then you see it says choose virtual background. Mm, no, this version uh, I think no. It, where it says stop video, there's a little up arrow. You click on it and. It, no, here I don't okay, I, I right. see. Well, you're no fun. No, ah, uh, here, here it is. <laughs> All right, so choose. There you go. Yeah, that's not too bad. No, no. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. All right, so uh, you'll have to put something. You could, uh, you know what? You you could customize it and have it so that's a picture of Andrea because she's been watching over your shoulder the whole time anyway. So she might as well, yeah, be, yeah. Pit, she might as well be pictured behind you. <laughs> Good. Well, uh, thank you very much for showing this. I thank I, you, Tim, for the I opportunity. Will, I will try to catch up on uh, on our on our little help uh, help desk things that I've got open with you. Yeah, yeah, sure. Anytime. And I hope that uh, you guys uh, keep well and stay safe. You too. Okay. All right, everybody. So I will say bye again here. Let me just find out. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to have to change here a bit. I find out what to click to. YouTube view. Da, 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 da. Where is it? Live stream is over. Yeah. So everybody, thanks for sticking around for this last little bit. Thanks for your support of the channel. And uh, we will see you again soon. Uh, enjoy your GMO sites and God you bless. Too. Bye.